very good morning, South Africa. Goeie morgen, South Africa. Mulweni om Zanzi. A very cold and wintry day in uh, our mother city, Cape Town. It's a rainerige, koue dag uh, in die Westkap. Uh, ja, om nomslaan sy, ja, maar cool, ja, baan, ja, epic. Um, and it reminds me uh, today uh, that a couple of years ago, funny enough, we had no rain and we had no water in the Western Cape. And uh, just shows you how human beings are, that, that we will never be able to satisfy everybody. Want as it rain, dan klaar ons. As it nie rain nie, dan klaar ons. Dis soos die rand. As die rand opgaan, klaar mense, as die rand afgaan, dan klaar amal. So it just teaches me a lesson that we cannot please everybody. And that's where we are, I think, as a country. Uh, Goeiemorgen Leon, Goeiemorgen Martin, my great man, Quentin McDuling, what a great um, guy in history. Quentin, ex-student of mine so many years ago, uh, Dylan Good morning, uh, everybody that, that is joining me. Goeie morgen. Uh, I am uh, again updating uh, everybody, Laszlo, uh, Ferdinand. Yo, so many people joining me this morning and it's great to see every one of you. Baie goed om julle amal te sien. Malwen, jom so vukele, vuke, malwen, itat. So good to see you. Justin, great friend, uh, and great to have you. Masi Bongwe. Good to see you. Hala hala. How are you? Jimlin van Wyk. Ben. Good to see you. Edwin. What a great guy. Andris, my Oskwal Pel. Guys, just everybody joining me, I'd like you to do me a favor. And you can send, and uh, if you can, after this, like. If you can just everybody like this video. It's very important today. And afterwards, if you could share it as much as possible. Uh, excellent Vardir. You'll remember two weeks ago, I uh, spoke live on Facebook. Uh, I had uh, talked about a few issues. Um, 14 and a half thousand people viewed this video. 14 and a half thousand people had this thing seen. And I would like to keep the momentum. Uh, as a person that has been in leadership. Uh, Goeiemore, George, Mo, Salam, Francois Lowe. I want to explain a couple of stuff to you today because I've been in politics on and off for years. Not only have I been in politics, but I understand politics. Ek verstaan politiek tot in sy murg. Having been in and out it, and I want to address a couple of stuff. Ek kan nie amal gelukkig maak nie. I'm currently the president of an international investment fund. I am the chairman of Nadebe Group, which is a group of companies with more than eight industry interests. I'm a community leader. I'm the chairman of ACT, the anti-crime tactical force and... I've been a loyal, apology, my Wi-Fi, like everything else, is up and down. I've been a loyal member, ek was a loyale lid van a politieke partij. En as jy jou hele leven lang koffie drink, en skielik besef jy dat koffie is nie altyd goed vir jou nie, maar thee is beter. Irrespective if you own a coffee shop and a roastery, you are allowed to change your mind. Nou hierdie mense wat aan mekaar vir my skryf vir my opinies en vir my sê maar ek moet die staat gaan recht maak en ek het foute gemaak, ja. Maar ek het die recht as een individie om tot op een punt te kom. Ek het die recht as een Suid-Afrikaanse burger om terug te kyk na 32 jaar waar ek beklui het vir amal aan al twee kante om te besef 51-jarige jong man het ek die reg om ek stem nie meer saam nie. Ek glo nie meer in een spesifieke visie nie. 
I have that right as an intellectual. I have the right of thought. I have the right of process. And I have the right of thinking as an individual. Because just like everybody else, part of 57 million people, I have also the right to demand some rights covered by the Constitution. Irrespective if I am a businessman, which I am, as a leader that is currently focused in Africa to build Africa, the IFA, working with my partners every day to better the life of all, being a person that understands now the economy, being a person that's been in politics, and also being a person that was very involved within the intelligence and security industry of state and of the governing party. Today, I am going to tell you the truth again. This morning at quarter past eight, the United Kingdom, one of the strongest economies on earth with a pound, declared through its Chancellor of the Exchequer, their Minister of Finance, that this morning, officially, the United Kingdom is in a recession. When you are an alcoholic, when you are a drug addict, the first way of solving this is to declare and admit that you are an alcoholic. To declare and admit that you are a user of drugs. Because the first thing is to admit. Is om te sê, ja, ek gebruik dwellings. Ek is verslaaf. Because only when we admit that thing that is killing us, can you start working on a plan. If the United Kingdom can internationally declare official recession, where are we in South Africa? Waar is ons as a land? Want ons as die Republiek van Suid-Afrika, sy ekonomie is nie as een tiende van dit van Groot-Brittannië nie. Maar as Groot-Brittannië en hulle leiderskap van ochend op televisie kan verklaar dat hulle in een recessie is, dan moet ons leiderskap al lang al al besef het, die dag, Honorable Mr. Mboweni, that we are not only in a recession, but in an economic disaster. Ons is in an economische verskrikking, Suid-Afrika. Nie net is ons in an economische verskrikking nie, maar ons is op hierdie oomlik, op hierdie dag, soos een volstruis wat sy kop in die sand wegstiek. We are hiding the obvious. And us that are in business, us that are trying to put food on the table of so many, are the people that are saying, this is obvious. This is obvious that our country is in a terrible economic slide. Politics is a dirty game. Politics, politiek, is allemaal nie. But politics is what governs this country. It seems that it's not the business leaders that are currently trying to fix it, but it is the politicians that make the decision. Die onwettige besetting van land is nie aanvaarbaar nie. There is no way that this democratic republic can allow the seizure and the taking of land. No democracy that believes that its foundation is law and order can allow this. 
There is no more excuses, Graham. Dat is niet meer excuses. Nie. Dat is niet meer verskonings. Nie. Law and order divides us from animal and human. It is irrespective of the policy of the African National Congress that there can be taking of land without compensation. Even taking land without compensation, neem van land sonder vergoeding, must be a legal, lawful process. Daar moet een proces wees waar ek jou land kan onteien. En selfs dit moet constitutionele hof toegaan. Maar baarse neem van land en eiendom mag nie en kan nie aanvaar word nie. Nie dier enige iemand nie, nie dier die ANC nie, nie dier die DA nie, en nie een van die ander gepiep en gespuis wat op hierdie oomlik leerdromme moer nie. Want die mense wat rondloop en sê neem land, in my opinie, the incitement of violence, the open blatant call for violence and burning, should change from not only being illegal, but treason against the people of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. President. Mr. President, law and order, the judiciary is our foundation. Ons fondatie is gegrawe op wet en orde. Ons moet weet dat die rechters op die banke, die magistrate in die hoofe, dat hulle totaal onafhankelijk is. Because the day that the judiciary under Mugweng Mugweng collapses, is the day that we have no more right as a democracy. We must call on the Minister of Police, Comrade, the Honorable Major of Lieutenant General Bekitele, that you immediately intervene, that you immediately call on all reserves possible to reinstate law and order. Brutally, brutally, if necessary. Met volle en maximum geweld in die nodig. Ons moet ons land terugvat. As South Africans, we must take back the safety, security, stability, of this said republic. Crime huge up. Just yesterday in my area in Somerset West blatantly in the bright of day a gang of people attacked a bank and a shop amongst citizens. Maar ek wil vandag die politie loof. I want to thank those dramatically brave police members who sacrificed again their life and arrested these perpetrators. But Mr. President, arresting is one thing, but prosecution is the difficult thing. I think, ek dink, Ons probleem le nie by die arrestaties nie. Ons probleem le om hulle tronk toe te stuur. We need an overall in the justice system. We need to become tougher on crime. Corruption is a word that seems like an admin fault. Dis a administratie fout, hierdie groot woord corruptie. Nou, hier kom het. Sorry, I'm not a politician, I'm an activist. Jylle moet ophou sê corruptie. Jylle moet sê diefstaal. Jylle moet sê theft. 
Want dit is een groot woord, die ding corruptie. Mobilization of the masses. Mensen wat mobiliseer. One in a million, million in one. It's great. Het is een goede ding. Het is jouw democratische recht. According to the Constitution of the Republic, you have the right of assembly. You have the freedom of speech and you have the right and freedom of association. But fellow citizens, that doesn't change a government. It just shows the people that you are unhappy. So what are we prepared? I told you so. Gaan ons aan mekaar mas proteste met motorbikes, bakkies, karre en trekkers, true lot? Or are we going to change politics in this country? Are we going to make a change? Because until we do not govern this republic honestly, without theft, accepting law and order, no racism on any side, no sexism, no bigotry, but being one, can we truly say we are free? Are we free? Dis a groot vraag, Republiek. So dit help nie ons protesteer nie. Dit help nie ons blok paaie nie. Dit help nie ons kom saam saam by braaifluise en krom krom en mor mor nie. Als Afrikaanse woord om te sê, ek is nou Mara. Ek is nou Mug. En Koza in de nie, we. Maar een rare geboere taal, ons is gatvol. Well, according to the constitution of the republic, according to law, the only way to change focus the only way to change direction is by the ballot box. My mede South Afrikaners, revolutie met a geweer is nie die oplossing. My fellow South Africans, revolution by violence is not the answer. Revolution by protest, but not violent protest. Ons brand nie busse af omdat die busse laat is nie, want dan is daar moor in die busse nie. Ons kan nie skole vernietig omdat ons kwaad is omdat daar nie onderwijs is nie, want moor is daar nie weer skole nie man. Everything we destroy, we have to rebuild as a nation. The money being spent on destruction could be used for evolution. Ons moet dink Zuid-Afrika. Het is een politieke revolutie. Dit is niet een Zuid-Afrikaanse revolutie. We must change the economy. We need less politics, more money, more jobs, more opportunity. And that's where the debate today comes in hunger or COVID. Mr. President, where are we? Waar is ons? Of hoe nan doen, apa nom slaan, jy apa hem zaan. Waar is ons as a land? Someone asked me the other day, Neil, if you were president, as jy president was, en ons moet vir jou stem, Wat gaan jy doen? Well, I saw a constitutional court case three weeks ago where judgment came out. A weird court case. A year ago where a group took the Republic to court. And three weeks ago it was found that any adult citizen in South Africa now according to this court judgment may run for National Assembly 
and any office within this country's government. It therefore means, and I'm just putting it out there, shows you democracy, that an individual can now run for president without the association of a political party. I read this judgment and found it very, very interesting. What would I, Neil De Beer, as a person that knows all race, that knows all sides, what would I do as president? Van dit help jy sê aan mekaar wat die probleem is nie. Jy moet een oplossing vind. Well, firstly, the day I become or would become state president of the republic, I would make the following announcements. A staatspresident van die republiek sal ek die volgende executive order uitvoer precies a dag nadat ek ingesweer word. Nummer 1, a renegotiation on unions. A nieuwe gesprek met die unies. I will renegotiate the system with our trade unions. And if those discussions with the trade unions do not work out, then you are not part of our union. Ni ini ini. Ni ini ini. You will now, as a union, representing the so called work force, go down on your knees and negotiate better terms. Not for the worker only, but for the owner who employs those workers. Because without a break, we are not going to be competitive as a country. I'm sorry. Maar iemand moet sê dat ons op hierdie oomlik glad nie internationale mense hier naartoe bring met ons totale, totale uh, rights van geld vraag nie. Ons per hier is te veel. Ek is jammer. I'm sorry. We need to be competitive. So my first action as president is to call a mass meeting and bring the unions of this country to terms fairly and realistically. My second declaration as president would be that ESCOM must either fix itself or get out. And the total opening of energy supply to the private sector in competition will be done. There will be a total assessment of the more than 600 SOEs in this country. It does not mean that we do not want state enterprise, but no politician, no affiliates will be allowed to be in any management structure of a state-owned enterprise. Those state-owned enterprises will be run by any person that is qualified, no matter race, no matter creed, no matter demographic, to, to change that SOE into profit. And should that SOE not have a turnaround strategy in 12 months, that SOE will be disintegrated, dissolved, and assets returned to private sector. Number three, I will declare again, now, this is correct, ek sal nationale dienstplig terugbring. Because the youth of today, I'm sorry, are lost. The youth of today do not understand patriotism and national service. Ek bring terug a year for Pluchte National Dienstplug. But here is the is that not National Dienstplug in the Weermacht. It is not National Dienstplug with a gewehr. National Dienstplug in Staatsinstitutions where you are. 
enige persoon oor die ouderdom van 18 na school sal vir die jaar nationale dienstplig doen met die fik die jaar wat ek aangestel word of sou aangestel geword het as president jou kese sal wees departement van landbouw departement van onderwijs departement van gezondheid departement van werke en die nationale dienstplig sal beloon word If you do that one year national service, it's only fair that anybody that did that one year will get a credit as to further studies on behalf of the state funding and coffers. That is free education earned. Dit is onderwijs verdien dier diens. Want miskien kry ons nationale trots discipline en patriotisme terug as jy een jaar teruggeef want al die dokters, all the doctors do that why must doctors give a zoom a year and the rest of us ride on the backside of that service, no when I am president every citizen will after school to one year there will be exemptions but that law will be written I will immediately, as a next decree, double the police service. I will change the coffers of this country, the budgets, by just clamping down on state expenditure, corruption, and the options of corruption, create a law enforcement national fund and increase the capacity immediately by 50% on police officers. I will rehaul the Department of Justice by revamping the country's technological capacity. I will immediately instruct the then Minister of Police to revamp every police station, every police vehicle, so that we increase the capacity of modernization of our police service where we have onboard technology and not live in the dark era. We will need to increase also the Department of Justice's capacity to prosecute. I will look at various options including in-prison court systems which will half the time of the police carting and driving prisoners around in the morning and in the afternoon, we will technify and ensure that an inmate never has to leave the prison, be sentenced, prosecuted and judged in one place. We will just have to work harder. I will immediately as president employ 9,000 workers appointed 1,000 per province and make these 1,000 people employable by the Department of Public Works. This 1,000 members will be employed from people that are artisans, people that are skilled labour. The 9,000 national work team will be deployed in the nine provinces of the Republic. They will be given tools, they will be given equipment, and they will be supported by each provincial premier and each public works entity. They will be provided by multiple of industry, where government will have contracts, selected contracts to empower, and we will start fixing Bottles. We will be putting a thousand men and women back to work where we will be giving them the tools to fix our roads, fix our potholes and start fixing our country hole for hole, gat for gat. That will be creating 9,000 daily jobs but rebuild the nation 
piece by piece. Stucky for stucky. There will be an outline plan and a target for these supervisors and people that will be taking on these teams. And those targets will be managed by a team and those targets will be reached. 9,000 people die day nadat ek ingesweer word, sal terug gaan werk toe, sal ons paie herbou, ons slaggate toemaak, en ons gebouwe herstel. Henceforth, education will be law, because an uneducated nation is a nation without a future. A ongeskoolde nasie is een nasie sonder hoop. En dit geld vir amal. Daar moet wet kom om seker te maak dat ons kinders sy onderwijs op hierdie oomblik nie onderhandelbaar is. We will have to go back and assess state expenditure. We will have to look at the amount of state employees. Ons sal moet kyk na die verandering van die totale in kabinet. Ons gaan ons belde moet stuif maak. I will announce a 5 billion phase 1 investment into agriculture. A further 2 billion in grant Grants to our farmers will be mandatory and all members that are in the agricultural sector will receive for a period of time free access to implements, access to state enterprise, government surrender on bringing in imports of agricultural goods, stipends, so that they can get free fertilizer grants, ensuring that there are currently stockpiles of national feed, the immediate processing of backdated water right applications, want water rechte, gee water, en as jy meer water het, kan jy meer plant, en as jy meer plant, kan jy meer plik, en as jy meer plik, dan kan jy meer mense aanstel. Dit is die orde van evolusie in landbouw. I will immediately put a 25% import tax duty on all foreign goods that are currently imported into the Republic of South Africa where we as South Africans can manufacture such. The 25% extra import duty will not be a penalty. It will not be punishment. It will be there so that we can boost South Africa first. Any trade agreement with any foreign country, be it bilateral, trilateral, will be suspended with immediate effect. We will renegotiate all terms. Alle ooreenkomste met lande oorsee word gekanseleer. Onmiddellik. En ons sal terugtafel toe gaan met Amma, met China, Amerika, Britannia, Duitsland, Brazil, Argentinië, om van te praat. Ons sal terug gaan na die Europese Unie en ons sal a better term cry for our land. There will be no excuse for any country to own the trade of our country because enough will be enough. My question is simple. What benefit does Sipo, Yanni, Sean, Yaku, Prakesh, what do they have in benefit with any current international trade agreement proven 
proven on the ground. And if there's no knock-on benefit to our people on the ground, such agreement must be suspended and renegotiated. My fellow citizens, my mere South Africans, that the state that wants a big dunk, that the state that wants trots terug krijgen, maakt niet zak wie jij is. Politiek is niet een spelletje niet. Politiek is niet een massa op toch niet. Politiek is niet geweld niet. Politiek is in die parlement. Politiek is in die boksie waar jij kruis maakt. Dit is een democratie. Dit is hoe je jouw land terugvat. Op enige andere manier. Op hierdie oomlik is niet op die tafel. So don't give me messages where you say we must revolve into revolution, into war. Only us that have been to war never want war again. The last point is that we must reunite as a country. We must fall in love again with our nation. Ons moet weer verlief raak op die vlag. Nou hoor ek mense sê, maar is nie my vlag nie. Dis nie my president nie. Dis nie my mense nie. Jy weet binnen jou binnen binnen en jou ieter mag goch hier wat afloop tot in jou poepenjaars. Jy is een Suid-Afrikaner. En murg en in been. All of us in our conscience, in our gut, know this is our country. This is the country where we were born. Here is ons land, ons geboorte land. And no matter what happens, no matter the up or the down, we are South Africans. So let us act this way. Kom ons leef die droom and unite. Thank you for your time. Thank you for all the people now, all of you that are watching me. Thank you for always your messages, always the support, every day sending me inbox messages to say, let's continue. Nog veel baie dankie sê, dat jylle my in jylle huis het. Ek is niemand nie. Ek is net een mens met een stem, wat 57 miljoen stemme wil harder maak, duidelik maak, waar ons wil nou een nieuwe land bou. In 2024, we will go to national election. But more importantly, next year, we will be going to local elections. Fellow South Africans, I know politics. Ek verstaan politiek. It's time that we take the politics out of politics and put back South African to South Africans. I'm ready to listen. I am ready to lead, no matter whom or no matter where. This is a call to all South Africans, from a person that's here, from a person that understood apartheid, was in apartheid, and yes, for a while protected apartheid. That is not calmly. But whom had a change of mind, who fought for a change, and who now is sitting and saying, we have come to that Rubicon moment. Ons is weer terug by a Rubicon. I'm open to lead. Ek is daar saam met julle. 
Maak nie saak waar nie. Maak nie saak hoe nie. Maar ons vir jou, Suid-Afrika. Aluta continua. Let us build a strong nation, become one nation, and then take on the world and become that South Africa we love. Aluta continua. Godspeed. May your hands be in the blessings of Allah, the mighty. Shukran. And to everybody else, Shalom. Shabbat. Thank you.